Hello everyone, thanks for stopping by. I am going to um, work on this um, Memories of the Meadow, uh, Tanya and collage type um, collaboration. And I'm helping with uh, a, a journal making with, it, with their kit, if you haven't seen it. But I, I'm going to do what I can do right now and then I'll probably add on to this video. Um, it's, I've kind of come to a standstill, especially on the cover. So I wanted um, to put together what I've already kind of accomplished. So what I did was everything has been um, sealed and resealed. Again, I put uh, second coats on. So it feels, you know, pretty cool. It's like leather, actually. Um, but here's the window. Now, what I did was... I took a piece of lace and I glued it to the top of the window. I may cut this a little bit more here. And then I took another piece of lace here and put this um, um, bookmark on it, book plate. And it doesn't look straight. I wonder if my little, this, I have this little thing, but I don't know if it, Kind of hard to know if it's going to be straight if it's straight i don't know how you do that hmm. i guess if i okay so uh, my head's not in the way there all right so let me i'm just gonna butt it up to here i'm just gonna see what i know the little dot's got to be in the center Okay, so that's not moving, it's... Oh, jeez, I, I don't know. It's so hard to tell. I, I feel like this side is a little too high. I'm gonna see if I can't move that down. There, I think that's a little better. Okay, move that one up a hair. These are hard to get lined up. Okay, I'm gonna push it back down again. And this one. Yeah, it looks too close to that. Okay, I'm sorry. I did. I thought I had this all done. Then I go to look at it again, and it doesn't look straight to me. Maybe when I when I um, try to push those down in the back, that's when it got weird. Okay, so anyway, that's um, what I'm going to do right there. I put some. Um, coffee dye, I mean, uh, coffee dyed uh, cheesecloth down here. I, I don't know. I just thought it needed some uh, texture there. And I'm going to do something with the bottom. Okay, and then um, the piece of dictionary page that I cut out because of the bird and the flower there, um, I covered it with uh, some varnish and a little bit of uh, distress oxide. I put um, some of this with the varnish and I put it on a brush and just lightly uh, went over it and it kind of gave it this nice little feel. So this is going to go inside here. So I'm going to glue this on. I want, let's see. Probably have to figure out some way to trim it a little bit because paper looks. Uh... Yeah, that one's going to need some trimming. All right, so I'm just going to Let's do it this way. We'll 
able to straighten it up on this side. At least I know that's correct. And so I went, you know, back and forth, back and forth over this and what to do. Come on, glue. It probably got dried up. I left it. very difficult to cut down the edge like that. I think that looks pretty good in there. I mean, I don't like this part and I thought I was going to put, I did put some more tea stain paper, but it didn't phase it. So, um, okay, it's going now. You know, sometimes the glue hasn't got to the top. I'm expecting it just to come right out. And uh, sometimes you have to wait for the glue to run to the, get to the top. So I think it still looks like a window, but it's not. Um, Here to seal that up. It's not going to go anywhere. I'm going to glue this part down. All right, so let me see if I can get this. Okay, and that side needs to come off a little bit, but I really didn't want to do it. I don't. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm going to glue this down in, right now anyways. Because I have a lot to do still to the front. Okay. And, um, yeah, it looks like it's... I'll make sure all that's glued down when I get there. All right, so then I thought, I think um, I think it was Kathy who said something about doing potted plants on the windowsill. And um, I don't really have anything I can do uh, potted plants with. So I kind of made my own little version of the windowsill, kind of a, uh, Italian botanical. This came with the kit and it was um, a pocket and I just cut it right there where I needed it and then I cut this section all out. So now I'm going to glue this down to the bottom here. I just left this little edge here which I thought I might need for a little space in this pocket. And I don't want to take up too much space. Oh, it's going to dry up on me. Okay. Let's go on again. Alright, so I'm going to, let me put this down here just so I can get it centered on the bottom there. And hopefully it'll stick enough there that I could put another piece of paper behind that if I needed to. I think it will stick. All right, so that's the bottom. And then what I want to do is take these little uh, washi ones that I made, and I'm going to make a little journal card out of these to sit inside of here. Um, 
I was looking for backgrounds is what I was trying to find. This one here, I think, I oh, well, that one's too big. Mm. That one. Hmm. Kind of wanted a bigger one because I want it to to like come up here. Hmm. And this is uh, obviously I can't stick this down and just put it here. I have to put it on a backing, but I could cut all the way around it again and you know just stand it there but let's just do it here this one and then maybe I'll put this one I don't know I've got another these are journal cards that came with the kit and um, I printed on both sides so that I could use them like that. All right, let me just, um, that one is not very sticky. So my thought, I wasn't gonna do anything uh, video-wise today I was going to just kind of play and I don't know. I want to I want to make so much. I want to mass make and I can't cuz I just can't get a grip on it. Okay. Um Let's see. I'm going to cut this down. I think I'll go by that line right there. And make it skinnier. Looks to be about a quarter of an inch on this side of it. So that's enough. Okay. ready to go to my son's. I've still got to get dressed. Um, not my son's, my grand to my my daughter's for my grandson's birthday. But I was having fun doing this. <laughs> so there's I'm right on the back. And I hope these, you know, will sit in the side of the journal and not fall out or on the front of the journal. I've never done that before. So okay. Then we can do a smaller one here. Uh, it does hide that flower pot, but when you take these out, you'll have it there. So I kind of like that one on there. <clears throat> I've had this little plain journal card forever. It was, I think, Party Mays, because she usually does sewing around her digital designs where she's left the sewing on it. All right. a third one but I'm not sure now because this feels I was gonna do a short hmm. I don't think I want wouldn't be 
too bad. Let's see how this looks on this background. Oh no, I don't want to use that background. I want a background that's a plain background like that. This might be kind of nice. If it doesn't look good, I can always use it as a journal card somewhere else, right? I'm gonna put it over here to this corner because I think I'm gonna cut it down. I could put words on these, huh? They would look good with words. I'm gonna cut this down on this side. part off or uh, sepia <sighs> this um, actually looks okay but this one doesn't so even it will not be such a contrast color with um, the other two. stick that one back there for now I may change my mind yeah. those two in the front you can't even see that when I pushed it down okay but I could definitely put wording here let me see it but It's a word. Um, I don't know that these do either. I don't. I'll think about those. Come on. All right. Oh my goodness! Why some things just don't want to move for you? I did have these two that I thought might have looked good, but. I like these, it's good. All right, so let me get this back and we'll see how this lays up here. Okay, now I'm thinking I want, I've got some lace going on, so might as well do some lace. So I'm thinking here, it's kind of jaggedy right there. 
And then I've got this lace here, which I'm planning to wrap that around the spine and put on the very back. So that scallop won't show there, but then I have this that I thought I would Maybe put under this. And then we just kind of have that grungy, lacy look. Okay. So, it's kind of how I was thinking so far. The only thing I don't have is something to do this, but if I, I was looking for like a doorknob or something, but I don't have anything. Um, and then how would I close it? So if worse comes to worse, I will put my eyelet there and we'll do sorry silk or something. Feel like I need something up here or maybe this needs to be up there higher. This only comes this wide. So I could do that. I kind of like that. Maybe I can put another piece back there. Whoop. All my little cards went. Yeah, I was I'm kind of afraid that if I I can't do it right now. If these cards don't work, I'm gonna I can use tinier cards. Figure out something for um for instance, you know, really tiny. I don't know, maybe not. What is the um, I had some other I think oh I had these that came with the kit. They're just little small cards. But I kind of like the idea of the pot, you know, the flower pot. Because that's why I, I feel like this is like in a flower pot. Okay, so I'm going to stop here. I don't know if I'll keep doing. Um, how long have I been? It's kind of short, but I may just um, add to this video at a later date. But at least I've got that much done and I'm kinda happy with it at this point. Okay, so I will see you guys um, either continue on with this video or I'll just put this up by itself. Alrighty, thanks, bye.